Yo, Omar, where's your Dodger hat? I don't own a Dodger hat, Muggs. Where's your Dodger hat? Well, well Sports, it, Sportsmore doesn't have a Dodgers hat? Yeah, it's time for you to fucking get one. No, I have a I have a Dodgers uh, a button up. It's not a jersey, but it's a button up. It says L.A. and okay. the Dodgers in the back. I have one of those. Okay, well let's let's get like you a, a hat real as well. one, or is it like did you buy it like for five bucks off the dude in the side of Dodger Stadium? Uh, my sister in law got it for me last year when she saw that I was getting all excited about the Dodgers, and we went to a Dodger yeah. game last year. Wait, no, was it last year? No, last year there was no games, right? Or maybe were there any games before right. the pandemic? Nope. Uh, oh, I mean, yet yeah, before the pandemic, yeah. No, I mean, uh, no, for the 2019, the yes. No, no, there wasn't. Oh, okay. Uh, 2019, you the, was the last. Well, other than this last one you went to, 2019 was the last game you went to. Okay, well, whenever the full stadium. Whenever I went to yeah. a uh, Dodgers game with her, she realized that my kids had Dodgers gear, and well, I'm not a nice. I don't know. I, I wouldn't like really wear that to like. Oh, I gotta represent my team. Like, I'm not that guy yet. I'm still new to this, okay. Mugs. Like, and I also. Like I said, leading up to the World Series and even during the World Series, I was so hesitant of jumping jumping on board because I don't want to be that bandwagon okay. fan guy, you know. So I, I'm really right. reluctant like, right now uh, to wear any gear and to claim the Dodgers my team. Like I will not even say that the Dodgers are my team. I will say that I do root for the Dodgers and I am a fan of the Dodgers. And if you were to ask me out of all baseball teams who I'm going to root for, I will say the Dodgers. And uh, on a another sports related note i gotta say dave yes go ahead go ahead mugs did you wear that dodgers jersey to the game you just recently went to i did capacity yeah awesome all right that's all yeah, that matters. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Well, for sure and, well that makes that makes omar a dodgers fan so welcome yep. Omar. oh cool man well, i appreciate still, the dodgers i appreciate yes. still need to get you a hat okay okay need okay, okay we sure. need to get you a hat okay i'll, I'll get a hat <laughs> speaking of hats yeah uh dave got me a clipper hat <laughs> And one of my yeah. uh, one of my good friends got me a Lakers hat because they heard the podcast yes. back in November, and Ooh. I was going to pick a a basketball team because uh, mm-hmm. you know just because they were going to play on Christmas, right, Dave? They were they were going to battle on yes. Christmas, right? They they played on Christmas. They were opening opening the season, yeah. And then they played two other times. Yes. So I got the, the year. I got really busy. Sixteen stations. Sixteen stations. Take a drink. Um, and I wasn't <laughs> able to watch as much basketball as I originally hoped. And when I would watch a game or try to watch a game, it was a little boring. Like I said last episode, because it's not playoff time, right? And now playoff time is so much more exciting because everybody's all gung ho about it. And uh, I watch a Lakers playoff game. And Dave, I saw half of a uh, Clippers uh, playoff game because it was past my bedtime, and I was like, man, this is so exciting. I, I need it. Wait, which half though? Which saw, half did you see? The I first saw, half. Or the I saw the first half? half where it was tied up, dude. It was so exciting, and uh, man, I was I was all about it. And uh, Kawhi Leonard is amazing, and I love Rondo. Rondo is, okay. I, I like him because he is very like. Um, humble. It seems like he's humble, and yeah. he's not like all like in people's faces. But he's a legit badass, right? I like where he this won, is going. He won, he won a championship with the Lakers last year. Just remember that. Oh, did he? Oh, and the Celtics. <laughs> oh, yeah. Really? And, the and the Celtics, Celtics a few years, years before. Earlier. Oh, so the guy's yeah. a legend. Yeah. That's awesome. So, yes. so he, he he knows how to win. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, they were calling him Playoff Rondo. Weren't, weren't they saying Playoff yeah. Rondo all the time? Yeah. yeah. Playoff yeah. Rondo Yeah, because he, he turns a switch. During during the regular season, he is, is pretty terrible sometimes. Yeah. But in the playoffs, he sure turns it on. Wow. All and right? he's so just like dead faced. Like he's so focused. I really like that about him, right? And so so I really enjoyed watching the hell out of the the Clippers and they were really playing their hearts out. Now on the flip side, the Lakers to me in the game I saw was game number 1 where they lost. And to okay. me that's against the Suns. Yeah, against the Suns, yes. Yeah. And that game to me I was just not feeling watching the Lakers. The Lakers were like kind of boring to watch. I was just not into it. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm still not decided. Okay. Right. I'm still, oh, I'm still, all right. Hold on. All right. Hold well, on. no, no. Hold hey, hold Muggs, on. no. He, he no. just said he hasn't decided. Okay. He let, let the man watch the teams. Now, Muggs, we both know where this is headed. So, like, just let the man watch the teams, and he will make his own unbiased decision. Yeah. I haven't said anything. You haven't said anything. 
Let the man okay. live. Okay. okay. Let me see. Let, 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 let man make your Hold on one second. Hey, Muggs, I want to hear what Muggs has to say. Let me say one thing about the Lakers, though, is that I'm not a huge fan of LeBron. I don't really like his attitude. Yeah. He He's, like, yelling at his players too much. And I was just – that kind of turned me <laughs> off. I was just like, okay, dude, relax, Chief. Like, this guy knows what he has to do. He's a goddamn <laughs> professional. Do you think this guy doesn't know that he, he, has, he wants to shoot and he has to score? Like, why are you yelling at your team members? I, I, well. I, I don't know. I didn't like that. And then second of all – I don't like Wesley Snipes' demolition man guy on the team. I don't even know his name, but I hate that <laughs> guy. Dennis Schroeder? Yeah, Schroeder. Dennis Schroeder. I hate that. Yeah, how dude. do you hate Dennis Schroeder? He's Did, like the he's like the nicest guy in the NBA. Did he's you see Germany. his hair? He owns a German. He owns a, a, a league in the German Basketball Association. Um, he, he, also, what's wrong with his hair? Anti vaxxer So yeah, he's an anti vaxxer Is he really an anti vaxxer Oh no! Is he really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But go oh, ahead, go on, man. go on about well, we how much you love that him. against. We won't hold that against him. <laughs> but anyway, but you do you know why LeBron was yelling at his player? I don't know. He just was like, "Oh because, man, I want it so bad. Oh, uh, I'm gonna yell it, at you and embarrass Omar, you in front of everybody, <laughs> jackass." The player <laughs> that he was yelling at, Catavius Caldwell Pope, is a slacker, and he can't like. He cannot he's shoot the ball. He he's does, in the NBA. He's, what are you talking about? Yeah, really? Right, but he for NBA standards, he's a slacker. <laughs> and and LeBron, being the champion that he is, winning a championship with three different NBA teams in his less than twenty year career, is telling this guy, listen, okay. man, we're in the fucking playoffs. If you're not gonna fucking play, get the fuck out. And he had every right to to wow. yet he's he, he's think, coaching. Is that, his is, that what, is that really what he said? Two, no, two, and but, a half, oh. two and a half championships, but uh, go ahead. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Hey, by the way, season. It was a real season, by the way, Dave. Okay. Uh, <laughs> then uh, you, you could take that uh, to uh, Dodger Town, too, Dave. So let's not go down that road. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Dave. Uh, Easy on wrong, that. Sir. <laughs> wrong, sir. Dodgers played from start to finish. It was one season. That's what I'm going to say. So uh, go ahead. So did the Lakers go ahead. a little break in between. A, a six month break, virus. sure. I see what sure. you're Six okay, month break. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what was the what was the Clippers mm-hmm. excuse? They had a six month break. It, th- it threw them off. Oh yeah, they're terrible. Yeah. Oh then how yeah, did the Lakers uh, win? Uh, they they had an easy road. Everyone got hurt in front of them. Go ahead. But go go ahead. We're not going to discuss that. We're not going to discuss that. But Omar, continue to watch. Yeah. Um, and don't just yeah. watch. By the way, don't just watch the the Clippers and Lakers, man. Like like if you want to get the feel for basketball, yeah. the Nets are playing some great basketball right now. The 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 Portland Denver series is great, dude. It's it's going off, man. Like this this year, basketball has been so fantastic. Uh, the eighth place uh, Memphis Grizzlies for the West. They're playing great against the number one seed Utah Jazz, and those games have been awesome. And you'll learn to like these little players, but yeah. then you'll find your team, whether it's the Clippers or Lakers. Cool. You will find a team because that that one game you saw, I'm sure the Lakers they lost, they looked you know terrible. Yeah. Um. Then they came back and won the next game and looked a yeah. little better. So maybe if you check them out again, you might see something different. And I mean, you won't because LeBron will keep yelling at people <laughs> over and over and over again. But but maybe they'll play better basketball the next time you see them. I will so say that's what I'll say. There's a Dallas player that really impressed me, man. A tall white dude, Kiko or Kihai or what? Uh, Luca? Luca, that's his name. Okay, Luca. Yeah, that guy. That Luca guy. Doncic. Oh my God. Yeah, what's that dude? What's that dude's story? That guy is good. Isn't? He- all right, so isn't he look like the doughiest Kiko. of dough player, and he just like dominates? He's not he in shape so even easily. a little bit. Yeah, I'm like, what? <laughs> Who is this guy? He was just sinking everything. It seemed like I was like, wow, everything. It was All right. crazy. So real quick, Luca is a player. Uh, oh, shoot, I'm, I'm gonna get Serbia for this because I shouldn't. I don't Serbia. Thank you, Mugs. Um, but he played in a European league, uh-huh. and at the age of 16. And then once he was eligible to come to the NBA, he got drafted. So, you know, he's only what? Right now he's what, 21 mugs? 22? He's 21? Yeah, he's 22. He's, he's so yeah. He's 20, yeah, he's so that, young, I, I don't dude. know specifically. Wow. Yeah, he's so young. And he's the, he's the future. Dude. How many, he's going to be so good. How many I mean, years, he's good right now. How but. many years in the NBA is he in? 
This is this his is like third his year. Third, third year. Wow. His third year. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. guy. That Last guy. Last year was his first playoffs, and he won Rookie of the Year the previous okay. year. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Just like we always say in the Janky Town podcast, all you Jenkses out there, we are not the podcast to come to if you want things uh, that <laughs> are facts. correct. Uh, the yeah. facts. So, in fact, I'm going to fact check Uh-oh. our jankiness right now. What happened? Luka Doncic is not from Serbia. <laughs> he is from Slovenia. Okay. There Continue. You go. Okay. There you oh, go. we all know, we know about Slovenia. <laughs> Yeah, right, right, yeah, Omar. Sure. Yeah, we should know about Slovenia. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but he is 22, though, right, Muggs? Uh, hold on, hold on. And and this is his third season, right? He is like 22. I, okay, I got and, that right. And yeah, he was drafted in 2018. So yeah. All right. Well, see that. Enjoy, enjoy right now. Enjoy the league, and then you could choose at the end of whenever yeah. this is that over. That guy, even between though, the Clippers and the Lakers. Yeah, even though I was rooting for the uh, rooting for the Clippers, that guy was head and shoulders. Like so much more talented than everybody, it was it was kind of like hard to ignore that fact that he was just just everywhere and just sinking things left and right and talk about a guy who makes it makes it look easy. I know you guys are probably like, oh my god, you know, we've been there, done that. But it was it was my first time watching this guy. This guy was super. No, impressive. he is he is a treat to watch, yeah. man. But yeah. uh, so I hate Omar, him, and I hope I hope he misses every single shot the next game. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> or the so next Omar, two games. The time this Omar's, airs. Yeah. Yeah. O- Omar's neither a Clippers or a Lakers fan. He's a Mavericks fan. Yeah, yeah, no, no, he's no. a Kiko fan. Yeah, I'm a, he's Kiko. a Kiko fan. Kiko, Kiko, Kiko or Uka. Kiko. <laughs> Whatever, yeah, Ring dong. I'm a hookah fan. Yeah, whatever his name was. Uh, hey, let, oh man, let me tell you something about getting back to normal and getting people back in the building, man. It, it is so weird because you're at const- work. At work, yeah, because you're constantly running yeah, yeah, into yeah. people. I ran into uh, Megan. Why? Holiday. I still come to work wearing no pants or no <laughs> underwear. <laughs> That's normal everyday mugs, but it's so weird because. Over the last few months, Stryker and Klein on the show, we've been talking about, you know, we don't want to be the douchebags that say, oh, man, it's been hell of a year or man, uh, (laughs) it's been rough, you know, so all these thoughts are coming into my head. But when you haven't seen somebody for an entire year or more than that, those are the first things that come want to come flying out of your mouth. Of course. Well, Omar. (laughs) I'm 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 the perfect person to ask for this because ask about this because yeah. I have an answer for every question that you might come across. If whatever someone asks you, I got your answer for you. Okay, uh, man. So <sighs> give me a situation and I'll tell okay. you how to okay. handle it. Man, mugs um, too. You can do it too. Um, okay. Besides mine. mugs, running to mugs in the bathroom. Don't okay. I can't yeah. handle right. that one. Okay, Where I'm man, snapping uh, my gun. Uh, Dave, uh, <laughs> uh, my yeah. mom died died from COVID. Man, that sucks. But hey, man, we're back June 15th, right? No mask. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah. I don't think that works in that situation, Dave. I, I'm pretty yeah. sure it works. I don't think that yeah, works. I'm pretty sure it that. works. Oh, I can't even top that yeah. one. I don't, I don't think it's right. like, No, it's just, it just, it just a little bizarre, man. I always feel like uncomfortable because, and then you don't know. Uh, so I ran into Megan, and you know, I know she's a hugger, but I don't know like how she really felt. And these times, I were like, can I do in a half hug? And then yesterday, I ran into Miles, and uh, he was clearly not having any kind of uh, uh, touchy touch, so we did the weird elbow bump. You know, <laughs> we yeah. did the elbow bump. It just which, which I, f- by the way, this is throughout the whole COVID experience. I found the elbow bump the worst type of greeting, right? Oh yeah, because you fist bump, you wash your hands, you're good, right? Yeah. You elbow bump if you know you you're not washing your elbow yeah. immediately. <laughs> you can it's have- just that you're just. The next person's juice or whatever yeah. on your elbow. You can have COVID like, elbow, right? You're like, oh my exactly. god. Exactly. <laughs> so anytime someone sent an elbow, I would just like smack it down, like, yeah, get away. Oh, like, man. uh-uh. It's just so dumb. The, the elbow bump. Yeah. Like, just give me a fucking fist bump. I'm gonna sanitize my hands anyway. But it's I'm gonna sanitize you, like, yeah, all it's over so it. weird. And then I saw Nicole <laughs> yeah. in the air studio, and I, I wanted to go in and say hi, but I was like. Oh, maybe she doesn't want that. You know, I'm like second guessing every little dumb thing. And like, you know, in a normal times, I would have been like, hey, Nicole, and pop my head in or whatever. Like, I'm not even doing that because I felt so <laughs> self-conscious about everything. Hey, so let so me ask this like, about you guys. Like, I, I didn't want to. I didn't. I didn't know what to do to Nicole. Hug yeah. her. Give her a high five. Yeah. So I spit in her mouth. So no. I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I had to now, do let some, me ask hey, you this, hey, guys. Mugs, I had to do something, so that's what I went with. <laughs> yeah. Um, so now you guys are back in studio, and the shift changes. Yeah. And it's it's so pe- people are coming in after you. Yeah. Are they cleaning the the studio right after? Like, are they spraying all that shit all over it? Or 
I don't think so no. much. So yeah, no. The only thing they were cleaning uh, were like doorknobs to the studios. Yeah, there's still a guy <laughs> doing that. Yeah. <laughs> And, and yeah, but like other, like, so the, the part controls, where you're spitting into the, nothing, the actual, no, the no actual controls probably haven't been cleaned <laughs> since the board has been taken from Venice and Jed the fish used to spit all over yeah. the board. I'm, I'm not even you. talking about the board, dude. I'm talking about like the mics, <laughs> oh, the, the mic handles. Like that the, too. Yeah. Oh, that, like you guys got, are spitting that's into got Swedish, it. E that's got Swedish Eagles saliva all <laughs> yeah, over yeah. it. <laughs> Oh, what a callback! You like that reach? Nice you like that? Back? Whoa! Wow! Does your does your back hurt from reaching that far? Oh, <laughs> I love it. Straighten it out. Swedish oh. eagle, man. Oh, oh man, that's awesome. So, no. uh, so it's getting back to normal, huh? Are people wearing masks at the, at the station? Still, or? Yeah, yeah, we still have to wear masks. masks. Yeah, and uh, Dave, now, to answer your question, can, like I think what 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 happened is that uh, the boss, the big boss, asked asked all the on air talent and all the people there if they're vaccinated, and kind of like that was uh, you, you kind of had to be vaccinated to be let in the building. Like, if you're not vaccinated, then you could st still choose to work from home. When that transition of not asking people if they're vaccinated or not and letting people in the workplace no matter what is going to happen, I don't know. You know, because like you said, June 15th, everything's going to open up. And I, I and I don't <laughs> think, you know, this is a weird thing. And I don't know, if Johnny, you got this uh, email, but... The company sent uh, emails asking if you're vaccinated yeah. or not. And I didn't know yeah, they were allowed was, to. They're technically not due to HIPAA, well, I, but... I don't know, but, dude. I, I don't know. That might be something that... I was having a discussion with another friend who the same thing. Her company uh, asked her if she was vaccinated or not. She's like, I'm not going to answer that. And mm. I was like, ooh. And they're like, but I don't the, know. The company may have something, but they may not. Who knows? But yeah, the loophole know. they got, or they told us it was anonymous. So they're at, they just yeah. wanted to get a survey. Right. But like, I mean... Anonymous, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, who know. clicked on this? Oh, yeah, it was Omar at KROQ.com. Uh, I mean, we're just gonna forget it's that. Like you sent the email, yeah, it's like you sent the survey to my email. Yeah. Wouldn't you know if I clicked on it and took it? Yeah, by the way, uh, how many people are saying no, I'm not vaxxed, so they don't have to go back to work? They're like, mm -mm, I'm, I'm totally not vaxxed yet. I don't know, mm, I'm dude. waiting. I think the majority of the people, I don't know who you've run into, Mugs, the majority of the people are happy to be back and they're happy to get. Get yeah. back in a routine and they're sick and tired of being at home in their yeah. in, just in their home in their home office or some people don't yeah. even have an office you know i'm lucky enough to have a studio and i'm pretty happy if i were to work from home but some people are miserable i would imagine here's the How here's the crazy sorry dave here's the crazy no, thing go ahead yeah. the fact that i think everybody's excited to be back like you said omar and everybody's sick of being at home yeah but also at the same time and this could explain some of my uh some of my road rage or, you know, rage encounters in public, people are getting back out and they're forgetting how to act. And I feel that there's like, oh, you guys yeah. notice there's like a lot of fucking oh, like yeah. just anger and fucking like some late, I saw some viral video the other day of some Hold fucking on. lady at a Hold Jersey on. Mike's throwing fucking sandwiches at the workers. Like oh, what really? the fuck is going on? Hey, 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 What's uh, going on? Let me, let me play something. This is, oh, man, I'm so glad you brought that up because I wanted to kind of start with this, but this leads me nicely into this. Uh, check out this audio. Manager on the fucking airport here! That's Who not saw him choking, choking? Who saw him choke me to the ground? Who saw me? I saw you run through the door when you weren't supposed he to. He choked me to the ground! You deserve I'm a pretty fair mistake. Boo hoo. Boo hoo. Boo hoo. Boo hoo. Boo -hoo. Ooh, what? You fuck off. Not helping. Not helping. Excuse me? I'm on the manager on the airport here. So that lady. Wait, wait, hold on. What? Can, okay, can, so can is you, this on an airplane? Is hold on, this hold on, on an airplane? Hold on. So no, I've me, never seen this. Okay. So can you explain it? Yeah, yeah, let me break this down to you. So that is a woman who missed her flight technically, but what? What? She, the airplane hadn't taken off, but yet they stopped boarding passengers. Okay. So she okay. tries to bust through that little door, which is illegal <laughs> or whatever, and there's a security or a police officer or somebody puts a stop to that, manhandles her because who knows who this crazy lady is, right? So the, right. the, the police officer, the security guard was only doing their job, and she was you know just shouting at everybody like, hey, did you see that person uh, choke me? And she was asking. 
calling or she was calling for the manager of the airport. I want to talk to the manager of the airport. And the guy who was videotaping was all boo-hoo, boo-hoo, boo-hoo. Oh, that was the guy videotaping. I yeah. I so wished it was the employee going boo-hoo, oh, no. boo-hoo, no, you came after. Right, my favorite oh, part, my favorite man. part though, I'll play it, I'll play it for you again. My favorite part is, and pay this uh, pay attention to this, it's not the guy who's videotaping and saying boo-hoo. It's a guy next to him saying, you're not helping, man. You're not helping. <laughs> here, here, I'll play it for you guys one more time. Who saw him choke me to the ground? Who saw me? I saw you run through the door when you weren't supposed to. He and choked I saw him me to the ground. ground. You deserve I'm a pretty fair mistake. And it's Boo-hoo. <laughs> Boo-hoo. Boo-hoo. You fuck off. You're not helping. You're not helping. <laughs> I want the Wait. manager on the airport here. Oh my god. So oh, who is recording? Is the employee recording? No, it was the guy. It was just the guy who was sitting in the terminal. That's it. Was just the guy so, sitting in the terminal. So Dude. that so that lady while screaming her head off heard that guy say boo hoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she responded to him. Yeah. And who's a Hey, who's this idiot friend saying you're not helping? Well, you're not helping either. Well, <laughs> shut up. No, Just I think that's record. the cop, isn't it, Omar? The what? guy that's the, no? I don't know. The cop, uh, damn it. The, the cop in the video was facing the other direction, so I don't think. I, uh, I, but it might well, have been. You're not helping, though. It's funny. Yeah, that's amazing. Helping. That's amazing audio. I yeah. have not seen the video, but it's crazy. Like, it, it's all these videos every day are coming out. Like, there's like, uh, they said um, incidents on airplanes are like, uh, so far this year, there's 437 like incidents on either in an airport or on an airplane yeah and <laughs> it's crazy but you omar you got to get that boohoo on a loop or, yeah uh, right drop, boo-hoo, boo-hoo. That's no oh can you can you get the you're not helping so anytime beer mug that talks or, or like <laughs> is oh, a speed bump it's got to yeah. be beer mug that. talks oh, oh, yeah. well, every time i'm a speed bump huh dave okay yes boo- just you boohoo <laughs> Boo-hoo. Yeah, boo-hoo, boo-hoo. <laughs> but man, no, and, and uh, listen, not to, you know, be much of a downer, but also we're on world record on a world record pace for shootings, mass shootings. Unfortunately, man, it's been Dude, so it's like sad. it's normal now. Yeah, it's like it's crazy. Like it's like it's like it's not normal if there isn't a, a mass shooting every day. It's it's insane. Un- unbelievable, man. And uh, uh, one thing that hit you know hit hit, hit me hard was uh, the little five or six year old kid that got shot on the freeway, dude. I yeah, was that, just, that, road, that one killed like, me. Yeah, I was just so, like, yeah, I and that's and you know that's a road rage incident yeah. of a guy who shouldn't be carrying a gun using his fucking weapon because he's pissed off. Yeah. That's why I don't carry guns in my car. Yeah. <laughs> Good call. Uh, Dave, you wanted Jesus. to talk about your trash day being Whew. lit, you said? Well, well, let's You're trans- not helping. Let's You're transition helping. out of this. You're not helping. <laughs> yeah, guys, guys, guys. I mean, how come no one told me? Like, I remember as a kid, trash day sucked, right? Because you got to take out all trash the trash. Trash day does suck. No, you got to take out all the trash as a kid, and you're like, oh, I don't want to do this, and it smells. Well, you have to do it as, a, as an adult, too, Dave, and it does suck. What I know, are you talking about? but now that, it, now that you're an adult, it's kind of fun because think about all the stuff that you're cleansing. Like, so you push it out, like the recyclables. I get a recyclable. I get to recycle a lot of things. You know, I have two blue bins, so I push them out, and I, I just feel great then knowing that I'm going to recycle all that crap. You know, all the greens, all the stuff from my lawn, push it out, and my trash, knowing that I'm getting all that trash out of my house and everything is getting cleansed. But this, you know, I've been in my new house for about three weeks now, and this week was a fucking marvel. It got so lit, dude. It was. I can't wait to all hear the trash it, cans were, so were far, there. Hold so, on. So far, you're Hold acting on. like a grown ass man that's never taken the trash out. <laughs> I have it, dude. I've in my whole adult life, I've been in uh, apartments, you know. So, but you don't take so, out or the I had trash. a dumpster. You don't. Yeah, that's what to I the mean. Dumpster. That's taking out the trash. Yeah. Not, that, no, no, oh, no, that's t- not, that's not no, proper no, no, that's, in front of your house with cans. Yeah, I'm talking about like pushing the, the trash cans to get picked up from the okay. from the trash man. Gotcha. You know, from, All right. Yeah, okay. yeah. Of course, you okay. throw out the trash into the dumpsters and into the pins, but okay. but never like from your house to the street. Okay. But this week, I had them all lined up, and I see that this chick just starts coming and like rummaging through it, right? I'm like, well, that's kind of odd, but yeah, I I've had it. that you in know, my neighborhood look, too, for sure. For recyclables, pe- people look, or pe- yeah. Yeah, people look for Strat shit, metal. and if they're gonna go through the effort, exactly. Yeah. If they're gonna go through that effort and and uh, you know take all the stuff out and go train and make some money, 
all all the power to you. Just please put everything back as normal. Flip the lids back and, and sure. don't make a mess. Right. She she does it. She does it. But then I noticed, like, because I, I could see from like, just the top of it. So I went on to throw something away, and I noticed that there was, like, all this fucking trash cans. Like, all these trash bags, I mean, all around the bottom of my trash bags. And I got pissed. And I was like, God damn it. So then I throw them all away where they're supposed to go, one in the trash and one in the thing. And... And then she comes back, starts taking it, and I'm like, oh, okay, she she was packaging it for later. But then another guy comes with a truck and a car, and she starts taking it from her. And I'm like, wait a minute, bro, you mean what's they got going a, on they here? Got, they got in a trash fight? They got into a tussle. I don't know if she went to go brag trash someone else wars. about <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if she was all like, yo, I I scored with all this recycling <laughs> shit. I, dude, I was recycling like yeah. a bunch of How boxes and cardboard trash? and stuff. <laughs> dude, my my recycling is lit. <laughs> yeah, really. it's lit, fam. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I'm telling you, I'm recycling a bunch of shit that's really recyclable. Not, not I'm Dave's not wish cycling. Dave, I'm not wish cycling. Copper, <laughs> copper and like thick stainless steel. Oh. Well, I did throw out some pipes and stuff like that, and like screws and 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 stuff like that. But but dude, they start arguing and tussling over this bags of things, and I was like, oh, what do I do? Yeah, what like, you this do? This is crazy. Oh, I stayed back. I didn't get in, I didn't get in the middle of a trash. Did you watch fight, it? Did you bro? see? Did you see what uh you know what transpired? I did. What happened? Yeah, the the guy came in the truck and and she had a little cart. She's putting her shit in, and and she's the one like I was like, yo, she was here first. I don't know, if she wanted to go brag, and so he tried to he she slaps his arm and then slaps his head like like takes a swing at him, and then they start arguing. Two guys get out of the car, say something to her. She what? says something to them. They they hop in the car and then take off. Oh wow. my and god! I was like, I don't know, did. Did I just see a trash deal go down? Like, <laughs> like so the guy the guy got one bag, and she ended up keeping the rest of the four bags that she filled up with my recyclables. Wow! And I was like, "Yo, what did I just witness?" Wow! And but at the same time, as crazy as that was, I don't want that to happen every week. No, did she? Like, no, did she notice you? Like, did she see that you were looking? Oh no, 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 no! no, no. 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 Little, I was, I was like peeking, like, like, right. and I was like, "Oh my god, what's oh, going on here?" Wow. I was like, "Just all you see is my eyes and a hat." Like. <laughs> Little to Dave's knowledge, that's his city's actual sanitation department. That's how it goes down. <laughs> Dude, I check I checked the citizen app and there was no reports or anything on, on trash wow. bandits or anything. That or trash is crazy. Well, you need to so, you need to set up a camera next time, Dave. This needs to be Yo, uh, next next time I will. I'll just set it up and then uh I'll I'll see it up. But then she put it away and so I was I was grateful. I was like, Oh, thank you. Okay, so wow. goodbye. Next see you hopefully next time. So yeah, trash day is lit, fam. That's crazy. That's that's <laughs> trash wars right there. That's insane, man. That that's trash. Trash Wars, yeah. And uh, Muggos, you actually, Yo. I know Dave already went to Disneyland, and you already went yes. to Disneyland, too. You took your daughter out I, there for her fifth birthday? That is correct, Omar, Aww. and it was cool Happy birthday, being Evie. back to... Does she listen Thank to Janky Town? <laughs> it, God, it, it, no. it passed, though. You're too late. Absolutely not. 100% no. Um, yeah, no, it was good to be back to Disneyland, because, you know, I, I think the last time I was there was for i think she was like she was uh, three years old so it was actually right, right when they were building star wars land oh, i wow. saw them Ooh. building batu and the millennium falcon and and i and then i waited a year after it opened and then the and then corona happened so i when i went it was 35 percent capacity and the thing of it is is that all the rides like, you know, whether it be Haunted Mansion, Pirates, all the Fantasyland little kid rides, um, Space Mountain, anything, they weren't lining people up inside the buildings out where the rides mm -hmm. are housed. So they're forming yeah. the lines in and around the buildings. So you have people waiting in line for the rides while the other people are shuffling about Disneyland. So it looked like a... 100% capacity day, but it was only 35%. Wow. Um, yeah, and it was like it, like walking around because you're like walking around. Like I, th there was like three occasions where I didn't know where the, like, the line started because normally they had uh, a cast member with a big sign that says end of Haunted Mansion line <clears throat> or whatever. But like sometimes I didn't see them. So like I'd, I'd like, oh, here's a – here's um. Uh, Snow White. I'm gonna stand in the Snow White line, and then all of a sudden, a Disney cast member arrives on the door. 
Uh, sir, this is uh, the middle of the line, the back. The back oh, of the line. You, you just and then mugs went, what the fuck? It was a, <laughs> it was a show. No, I'm going to stay here. Right? <laughs> fuck you. And then you threw, oh. you threw Evie at the cast no, member, right? No, I no? didn't, Dave, because I'm respectful oh. of rules. I'm not just going to cut oh, lines. Okay. Uh, okay. okay, I only I only oh, attack when man. I'm getting attacked, Dave. Okay, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not a Karen and Jersey Mike's throwing sub sandwiches and charging airplane runway doors. Okay, <laughs> anyway, Dave and I are gonna, you know what? Forget the Floyd Mayweather Logan Paul <laughs> boxing match. Let's do Dave Sanchez uh, beer mug. All right. So anyway, oh, okay, um, I'll be fine. <laughs> oh. Oh, did you hear Dave? I, I bet he see was that. like, oh, okay. <laughs> wow, the confidence. I love it. Cool. What are we training? Training? Start right now. Let's go. <laughs> it's like, I, know. They, I got a backyard just, now. Let's go, backyard, man. Just a back, old school backyard, backyard fight. Yeah. All we'll right. go by the trash cans, bro. Just, yeah. one, <laughs> we'll just no time limit. The first one who gets knocked out. Or June, knocked out. First one who stops throwing punches because we're so tired. Yeah, dude. June, June 16th, dude. June 16th, we'll invite June everybody, six, dude. Oh! June 16th. Oh my God. Let's do it. Do you think we can steal? What's June 16th? Uh, oh, everything oh, opens up. Oh, that's yeah. Everything, yeah. Will be, everything will be opened up, man. Let's do it. For some reason, yeah. I was like, I was like, oh, I thought you meant like June 6th because that's the that's the stupid date of the stupid fight. I'm like, oh, we're gonna steal pay per view vibe. Well, the, let's do that. that. That's even better. <laughs> hey well, mugs. Hey mugs. Hey, listen. So, so not to interrupt your story and keep this going, but you yeah. know we couldn't do drunk boxing with Ralph. Well, why not drunk boxing between you and I? Oh, It'd be yeah. fun. That'd be awesome. Janky sure. town. Yeah, I love it. Oh, Janky dude, town backyard drunk dude, boxing. Us, All right, dude. And, okay. Anyway, so um, <laughs> long story short. All Too the, late. All the, all, the, all, the, all we're going off on major ADD tangents today. Uh, okay. All the, all the restaurants were um, you had to order via phone, but like they had random churro stands and popcorn stands where you could go up and either pick, tap card, credit card, or some of them were taking cash. But until they allow people back into the buildings, they're not going to be at hundred percent capacity. There's no way they could do it. Right. You know, Disneyland's uh, just too small. June fifteenth. <laughs> June fifteenth. But, but, but I read an article today. Uh, it no, they're was... not going to. They're not going to be at one hundred percent capacity June fifteenth until Dave. fall. Until the fall. Until fall. They yeah. Said. June fifteenth. Yeah. They're going to allow allow other people other than Southern California residents inside the park. Yeah. And that's why I'm going back on June twelfth. Yeah. <laughs> are you? Just are you really, on. Dave? Are yeah. you serious? I am. Yeah. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, we did that on purpose. Wow. I wanted to get one out of the way to see how it is. And then uh, we wanted to go before uh, when after the Avengers campus opens on California Adventure, mm-hmm. and before it becomes full capacity or higher yeah. capacity. Yeah, okay. so I think they're going to go up to like fifty or something like that. But oh, uh, but I'm out. But uh-uh. mugs. I'm done. But mugs. No. So you went yeah. to Disneyland. Did you yes. get the best meal at Disneyland? Did you get the Ronto roast at at Batu? No. I, I oh. walked through there and it was so cool. It was so cool. And I should have ordered at least a blue milk or whatever. No, those but suck. just get the Ronto Rose. The best thing you'll eat at Disneyland. Is it what is it? It's I a, said it, it. What? What is it, Dave? It's like a it's a sausage and a pita with like slaw and this sauce. Oh, oh it's yeah. so good. Wow. That place looked yeah. good. Uh, I, Star Wars Land was worth was worth it. Uh, absolutely, um, very cool. I rode uh, Smuggler's Run for the first time ever with my daughter, but uh, I'm not going back over 35 percent capacity, Dave. You can have fun at your 50. Wow, so you're I saying I will, and then just... I'm gonna punch you in the back, in the back <laughs> by the trash can. Well, that's oh, so no rules to our backyard boxing match. Uh, do- uh, donkey punches. Okay, good. We're yeah. good. Here we go. <laughs> Hit the ground, Jack. We can get the janky poppin', that's a sound. Jack, Jack. We make your frown, Jack. Go upside down, Jack. It's getting janky, we the greatest pound for pound. pound. What up, Mugs? Jack. What up, Dave? Jack. What up, O? Jack. What up, James? Dude. What up, Mugs? Jack. What up, Dave? Jack. What up, O? Jack. What up, James? Dude. It's getting janky. It's getting janky. It's getting janky. I love it when we jank around. It's getting janky. It's getting janky. It's getting janky. I love it when we jank around. Janky! Town. By the way, uh, I, you know, I meant ho- to say... Ho- hold, on, hold on, Dave. No, no. I meant to say uh, rabbit punches because donkey punches would have meant that we were having sex. <laughs> yeah, it was a sex move, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I was like, Rab- yeah, okay, donkey punches. Yeah, let's go for it. 
No. Uh, but I thought, I thought I was intro. in for a like a, a weird treat. Like, oh man, I, you know what? I, this is kind of disgusting, but yet I'm aroused <laughs> and very interested in seeing this. <laughs> All right, never mind. Oh god! Okay, that's oh, the end of the man. podcast. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Thanks yeah. for listening. <laughs> Janky Town episode number 41. Oh. Ladies and oh, gentlemen, thank Jesus. you so much for uh, 40 tuning in. 41. <laughs> 41. Oh. Uh, as always, you can uh, reach out to us via the emails, jankytown69 at gmail.com. And the jank line number is 855-Janky69. And uh, the operators are not standing by 24-7. And uh, on June 11th, Dave, we have a special treat for all the janksters. What are we doing? Is that what we're doing? <laughs> Is that what and we're there doing? you have it. So we'll see you June 16th. Right. Oh, my God. I'm so out. sorry. I am so sorry. That came out of nowhere. You know how I feel about burping on the mic. But, oh, oh my Masks God. not required. <laughs> that hurt. Um, yes. June 11th. It's the final Zoom. It's Janky Town's Zoom game night. Friday, June 11th from 9 to 11. Uh, we're going to be playing some of your favorite and maybe some of your not favorite uh, Kevin and Bean games uh, over Zoom. And if you want to get on the list, you can hit up uh, jankytown69 at gmail.com. Yeah. 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 Things are filling up. I think we have close to 100 spots already emailed. But Damn. we're, we're going we're gonna to keep taking emails because last time I think we ended up getting like 150, but 25 or 35 people didn't. You know, they probably had something last minute pop up. So uh, we're going to Yeah, take- and my favorite was... I started partying early before you guys got on, and yeah. I passed out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. So yeah, wait for us, man, because we're we'll have drinking game again. We'll have the Janky Town drinking game, and uh, yeah, Omar will make people do shots for no reason. Yeah. And I dude, was out of control. Like, huh? it, yeah, <laughs> yeah, let's drink like every four seconds. Yeah. Take a shot. And, <laughs> yeah, but uh, dude, maybe we do a game, and if like they get it wrong, they have to shoot. They have to take a shot. You know what I mean? Like, oh, it's, that's like, you get good. It, if you get it right, you enter into the drawing. If you get it wrong, you take a shot. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, we might have surprise guests and we might have prizes. So, you know, that's how janky we are. We still haven't really talked about that. But there's, you know, potential, you know, potential guests and potential prizes. Do you guys like bars of soap? Like Irish Spring? Me? I love Irish Spring. Uh, no. Like anybody. I'm like, a, I'm a, like, yeah, a, I like Irish Spring. a liquid soap kind of guy. Okay. So, oh, I'm transitioning into liquids. Um, so I have... Like before the pandemic, I bought a shit ton of Irish Spring because, you know, I don't want to go to the stores. So now I want to get rid of them. Uh-huh. So, hey, guess what? The Jenks is going to get some Irish Spring if they oh, win. I'm so, sure. Fuck uh, that. I'll take it. Yeah. Fuck the so Jenks. There we go. I'll no, take the Irish no, Spring. No, no, no. No mugs. Listen, Irish <laughs> no, Spring can't help you. No, we want you to you. remain stinky. We're fine. Yes. you. Are, it can help you. But a Jenksta, I'm sure, will appreciate it. And a, okay. some lucky Jenksta is going to receive like a six pack of Irish Spring. No, for so sure. For sure. How can you not want to attend just for the Irish Spring alone? That's By true. The way, what about Zest? If you want to sponsor remember us, Zest? Get us up. You guys remember yeah. Zest? You are, you're not fully clean in less <laughs> years. Zest fully clean. clean. Yeah, I love that <laughs> jingle. That was an awesome jingle. Are you kidding me? Dude, whatever God. happened to that commercial? I don't know. That's a good one. Dave doesn't uh, remember. It got, Dave. It, got, it got canceled for something. Did it really? <laughs> Everything's you getting canceled. Why, no, I don't, yeah. I don't know, dude. No, because it, it was risque. Yeah. It, it involved like somebody like jumping out of the shower and like opening their towel like really yeah. quick. Remember that? For real. That's Ooh. why that's why I got canceled probably. All right. We're yeah. gonna we're gonna talk to somebody <laughs> You're of, not helping. Uh, <laughs> You're not helping. <laughs> <laughs> See? I, I need it, to pull it's that. gonna work. I need to pull that. Yeah, it's I need to pull that. I need to pull that. Yeah. <laughs> um we're gonna talk to somebody about this. Dance coin! All right. Can I can I set up my man Oz before we give him a call? You set him up, man. All right, listen, Oz used to work with us in the IT department. But this dude is one of the smartest guys I know, and we would always talk about the dark web and shit and how he would uh, access it. And, dude, even before this craze about cryptocurrency, this guy was talking to me about crypto, about Bitcoin, about mining. He used to mine for the Bitcoins and stuff like that. And uh, I thought, hey, look, we have all these questions about cryptocurrency right now, and Dogecoin! <laughs> so, yeah. so, Dogecoin! 
thing. What if we? How about from here on out, we do all our drops live, like from our what we do. Well, I I I pointed it. Oh, and then I did it yeah. because I don't know if he had it up or not. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I thought, what better like. We're dumb guys who are gonna ask dumb questions, and he's pretty knowledgeable. Yeah, he's in. He's he's done it. He's in it. So let's give him a call and right, see what sure. we can find out. Absolutely, man. And he's a, he's a cool guy. Yeah, he's very cool. Hello. Hey Oz, it's Dave with a beer mug and what's your name? Omar. <laughs> Janky Town calling. Hey. What's up, dude? Hey, what's up, guys? Nothing well, much, uh, man. I know it's been a long time, dude. How you been? Pretty good, man. You know, just working, being your dad now. Good, man. Oh, congrats on oh. that, by the way. Appreciate yeah. it. Thanks. Yeah, man. So the reason- are you are you, are you paying for all your diapers and all the all the cryptocurrency you've uh, made? <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, I have been. <laughs> That's crazy, yeah. Oz. So l- listen, man. We here at Janky Town are just we're just so moron- moronic, and we don't know what the hell cryptocurrency is and uh you know the mining of it and so cryptocurrency correct me if i'm wrong has been around for about a decade is that right yeah that's right and how was it so was it free back in the day because i've always heard the term oh you have to mine for cryptocurrency or especially bitcoin was the one back in the day that was the biggest one you have to mine like what does mining actually mean like, and is it free if you, you know, just accomplish certain acts on the web or like, what the hell does that mean? I have to mine for Bitcoin. Yeah. So before mining was, you know, reasonably easy. I mean, I used to mine and you would be able to get a few Bitcoin like within a few days, but obviously now it's the competition is just insane. So it's pretty much impossible. You would have to have, an insane like rig an insane operation with a lot of money invested into it to uh, really be profitable and at this point it's pretty much impossible to recuperate your investment if you were to buy the hardware for it but i mean simply put, hey Oz, when you say uh, rig what do you mean uh do you mean like a computer or like are you actually mining for it or like is it a phone exactly thing? What so is like it? what's a rig Yeah. So before you would just use your computer, you know, it was based on like CPU mining. So like you would just use your computer, it would utilize 100 percent of your CPU. So basically, you know, make it useless during the amount of time that you were mining. Um, But now it's really shifted to this like graphics card based mining that uh, they found like through this these ASIC miners and basically a different method to solve the algorithm and the cryptographic work that it takes to supply and facilitate the blockchain so that it's pretty much shifted completely off of cpu mining so now you don't really use uh you know your computer per se you can build like a rig that just has a bunch of graphics cards on it and you know use the graphics cards to mine which is the reason why gamers right now are pissed at miners you know because it's pretty much impossible to build uh, a computer right now and and pay like msrp for the parts it's it, like the parts are insanely ex- expensive right now if you could even get them now wh- oz what is the end goal for someone who is mining or gathering and collecting uh, this cryptocurrency i mean and 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 it, the first part of the question and the second part of the question what can it be used forward so i mean i guess i would say mining is just not even something most people would do it's just out of the question i mean i personally do not mine i i just trade cryptocurrencies you know what i mean because it's just so so complex like there's uh you know in asia there's so many operations that are mining that are massive with millions of dollars invested into you know facility facilities that are mining cryptocurrency so it's pretty much impossible for most people to be profitable unless you're like trying to mine some like relatively new coin that doesn't have a lot of competition or you know provides like a different way for you to gather um you know the coin in 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 for example, there's one right now that's popping up and becoming pretty popular, and it's called Helium. And pre- pretty much what you do is you provide 
like a wireless network for internet of things. And because you're providing this access, it's kind of like if you take your home router and you decide I'm going to make it public. So people are going to, you're going to receive a reward for allowing people to use the internet via your router. So people are doing that, right? So, you know, for those technologies that are barely emerging right now, then it's profitable for everyone else. I would say there's no reason for anyone to be mining. Hey, so uh, Oz, you would just trade. Uh, so I'm still confused on what mining is. Like, take me back 10 years. Like, so, you know, using 100% of your CPU, what is the act of mining? Do you log on to a website and then you just press enter or a password? Like, what do you, what, what is that aspect of mining? And then once you find a Bitcoin, how did you obtain it? Was it free or, or, you know, like what the hell is up with that? I mean, technically it wasn't free, right? Because you had to wait for your computer to do the work, right? Which is a system that's, you know, I mean, it's really, it, it gets complex in regards to consensus methods on the network, which is what it is. It's called proof of work. Okay. Like your computer produces work, therefore uses electricity. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. So like it uses electricity, this is, this is which all... costs you money. Right. This so, is all crazy. So it, it wasn't free, right? It, it wasn't free. How, how about this? Let me, let me, let me put things... In a, at a more rudimentary Please, level, because I am right? Right. so. Yeah. Let, let's forget about <laughs> mining. You know, so mining I. mining is like a very small subset of everything cryptocurrency has has to offer, right? So, so really, basically, there's always been like a a doubt and fear around fiat currency, and like fiat currency is essentially. <laughs> Um, all car? legal legal tender. <laughs> no, not the car. You know, fiat currency oh. <laughs> is what is what we call legal tender. In this case, the U.S. dollar. Right? It, it gotcha. has no intrinsic value. There, it's not okay. backed by anything. It, it has no direct gotcha. use. It's, it's it's just paper. Right? So, um, okay. because it's not backed by gold. Back in the day, you could take a dollar. Right? That's why it used to be called the silver dollar. You could take a dollar to a bank, and they would give you the equivalent in silver mm -hmm. or, you know, even, even further back in gold. Right. But now okay. that hasn't been the case for a long time. So, um, simply put the dollar just has value because the government says it has value. It's just a legal tender. It's a right. piece of paper. Right. So, okay. So, um, this, okay. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm sorry. Guys. So, okay. Let's say I have, you know, $10,000 in Dogecoin. Can I go out and buy a sick rolly with it? Or like, how do you spend it? <laughs> well, I mean, that's why a lot of people really still criticize cryptocurrency currently because they're like, oh, there's not that many use case. You know, there's not that many applications for it. Not everyone right. accepts it. So in reality, it's just a speculative market. And it really is. It's, it's all speculative because people hmm. truly believe that the future of all currency is going to be cryptocurrency, right? Because currently wow. uh, al almost, almost all money is digital. It's just a number on a screen, right? right? Which supposedly the bank has it in our fractional reserve system, right? So let's say for example, <laughs> you go to bank of America or Reddit or whatever, and you have a million dollars there. Technically they should hold every, all the money that they lend or, all the money that their, you know, members have, they should be holding 10% of that money at any one time, right? So really, the rest of the 90% is just a digital number on your screen, right? So that's, it becomes so dangerous, right? And that, that's where, um, you know, that's where this all grew out of, you know, the fear that grew exponentially ever since, like, the financial crash of 2008, you know, which, during which some of those largest banks were deemed too big to fail, you know? So people have always hated banks, but that was really amplified with the bailouts that occurred during, you know, said time, you know, despite the fact that they were the actual culprits of the crash. Right. So, um, <laughs> all right, Oz. <laughs> you know, so, so check this out. So there's Bitcoin, there's Dogecoin and there's Ethereum or something like that. Um, and all these other type of of uh, cryptocurrencies, but like Mug said, what can you buy for it? I know um, the Dallas Mavericks, who are owned by Mark Cuban, accept digital uh, cryptocurrency as payment for 
for uh, their their tickets, their gear, everything. But he says they're never going to trade it in, which I don't know what that means. And then Elon Musk said that he's no longer going to accept Bitcoin because mining it is bad for the earth. How is mining yeah, bad which, for which the earth? Which that, that caused a, a, a recent little crash. Well, that in combination with, with you know, uh, you know, what China has always, you know, constantly reminded people of like, oh, we don't accept this as a legal form to make, you know, payments on debt or anything, which caused this recent crash we just had about a week and a half ago, which was wild. But, you know, it's all part of the ride, you know, but but yeah, wow. right now, unfortunate, if I could be real, you know, I the, one of the Please. first real purchases I made with crypto is. I bought shrooms online. You know what I mean? Like that, yeah. that's really that's really what it was. Dark web, right? <laughs> now, yeah, I'm that's right. Into that's right. On the Silk Road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, uh, so, exactly on the Silk Road. So Oz, is it worth it for anybody who is new to what you know cryptocurrency? First of all, let me ask you this: Can you trade cryptocurrency on the stock market, or is this something different? Well, I mean, the stock market is completely different right so it's, it's an organization else. so in this case like for example the nasdaq or whatever right like it's a specific private organization that okay you know it's enabling that exchange but in in our case it, this is crypto is fully decentralized so again you know there's a lot of exchanges um in, you know coinbase being the most popular one in the u.s right. binance being another really popular one internationally um, but, but yeah, people could just buy it and trade it. And again, the speculation drives the value. Right. So you can make crazy amounts of money. I so mean, crazy. In your, in your opinion, is it worth it to get into, you know, something, you know, like Dogecoin where I think it's like, uh, how, how much, how much is Dogecoin going, going for right now? Do you know? Like, I mean, personally, I, I personally do not invest in Dogecoin. You know, it was started as a, as a joke. Right. And it, it was pretty much just like a huge joke, you know, because with the emergence of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, you know, that were created to tackle like specialized markets, which we call like alt altcoins. Okay. You know, Dogecoin was just a, a, created as a joke to make fun of like the speculative nature of crypto <laughs> and got like it, just and how people were just like dumping crazy amounts of money into things or turning a hundred dollars into three hundred thousand dollars so, you know? Doge, so Do dogecoin, dogecoin is kind of like the hipster <laughs> of the that world of the cryptocurrency world i mean uh, i personally hate Doge. you know i i don't <laughs> trade it i hate it and i I really just I don't trade it. Frown I on hate people it. that trade it. I, I really do. I frown on people because it's like uncapped. Like the, the whole point of cryptocurrency was to solve a lot of the issues we had with fiat currencies like inflation. You know what I mean? Counterfeiting, right. double spending. And and Doge doesn't really tackle that because it's it still has inflation because they can mint as many as they want. It's like unlimited, uncapped like you know amount that can be in circulation and all the other cryptos don't like some of them are even deflationary in the sense that every time you make a transaction one percent of it is burned of the coins are burned forever and then another percent of it is like distributed amongst all holders relative to your holdings you wow. know so your the value of your wallet is increasing the more people use the currency right where whereas those right. on the contrary it's it's dropping i personally don't like it but a lot of people are investing on it. I, I think it's all hype and right. I don't like to trade anything based like very strictly on meaning and, and hype and stuff like that, which really it was all fueled by the whole GameStop short squeeze thing and, and the Reddit, you know, cults that are happening right now. And that's pretty much <laughs> right. where Doge kind of blew up in popularity. But all right, I mean, Oz, personally, let, let me ask you this project. and this will be, this will be my last question. And like Omar said, we don't know shit about this. And would it be wise for someone like us, Janky Town, to join this coin base that I see a bunch of ads for and put in like say fifty bucks and just let it sit? Would that be oh, wise yeah. or am I just throwing am I just throwing fifty bucks away? Oh no, yeah. Of course I personally think that the price is only gonna explode with you know, as time goes on. I mean Personally, I truly believe that in the future, you know, the deed to your house, like the registration to your car, 
like everything is going to be based on the blockchain and you know all currency is eventually going to be on the block on blockchain technology as well including the dollar so i mean i think yeah you're you're still relatively on the forefront of like you know the future so, hey oz so um, if, i, I it, personally it, would invest in it if yeah. you if you had to give our, our listeners some advice on how to invest this well first of all just really quickly do it do you also invest in the stock market or are you just a crypto guy no, no, I do invest in the stock market. Okay. Um, I do options trading, which is extremely risky. And the, the reality of it is this. I'm a compulsive gambler. You know, I, oh. I, I'm addicted to gambling. <laughs> so, I mean, and that's what all of this crap really is. Right. You know, it's just it's just gambling. So it's like it's like a way for me to be able to allow it into my mental health that, oh, this is investment, not gambling. So it's okay. But in reality... It's all gambling, you know, and it's just for me to get my jollies off. But Got luckily, it. it's been so lucrative <laughs> for me that, I, you know, I've been able to make, for example, this year, I, I made my yearly salary in two months. You oh, know, my just God. Trading wow. These, uh, you know, all coins. Yeah, it, it's pretty wild, man. And it's just like. It's really just the luck of the draw, That's man. That's awesome, it, man. It, well, congratulations yeah, on crazy. that, dude. Uh, all right, go ahead and just you know give us some tips, man. If we we're new, we're new to this. Give us some tips if we have you know anywhere from a couple of hundred dollars to a couple of thousand dollars to invest. Sure. I mean, the the name of the game is always going to be the same in all like investing markets, right? Which is diversification. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. You know, only invest what you're willing to lose, like anything, you know, this is not financial advice, but be sure you can completely lose that money that you're investing. Right. And and the reality of it is uh, just like anything, when you're investing, it's because <laughs> <laughs> it, it's because you you believe in it. Right. It's yeah. like a project that you believe in. So what I would recommend is you go to Coinbase, look at the top 10 coins. And when you click on the top 10 coins, when you click on their info, there's a, there should be a link down at the bottom. It, it'll give you the project's website and a link to their white paper. The white paper being like their, you know, their <laughs> mission, right? And you read the white paper and you, you think if you believe in this and you think that it has a future and you see other people investing, you could see how much money is in it in the market cap, you know, for that coin. Like if you think it's... Uh, it makes sense to you just like, Hey, I invest in AMD because I genuinely use their products and I think they're going to be around for a long time. Just like people invest in Ford because they believe in their, you know, product. So it's the right. same thing with the coin. If you believe it's uh, fulfilling, you know, a need in a specialized market, then go ahead and dump, let's say you got a thousand dollars, go ahead and dump a hundred bucks on each of the top 10 coins and, you know, join the ride. All right, Oz, man. Thank you so much Oz, for all I'm the. I'm sorry. Oh, one sec. One last question. Oh, okay. I promise. I promise. What's not Way to, to stop somebody ball. from, and I think this has happened, coming up with their own cryptocurrency, like, and naming it something ridiculous, like nipple coin or something. Like, oh, yeah. What's no, not to stop right now, somebody? there's one. It's called, like, Cum Rocket or something like that. Yeah. And the coin, <laughs> the coin is literally, like, Cum yeah. or something like that. You know, and is that for real? That's for <laughs> yeah, real? Yeah, that's for real. And it has blown that's, up, man. Like, it has made insane. insane coins. One of the ones that's blowing up right now is, like, Diarrhea Coin or something. And, you know, there's... <laughs> oh, I think yeah, we're in that, that one. Oh, Omar's in that one for sure. <laughs> too bad, he's, yeah, too bad yeah, he stepped away to uh, rescue his kid because he would comment on that, but... <laughs> yeah well yeah, yeah, yeah. oz man uh thanks for uh joining us and trying to uh explain to us and answer our stupid questions um and can i have one can i have one coin of anything yeah so i can yeah, start yeah, a coin I'll, base? Send you some. I'll send you some i'll yes. send you some just to get you started for sure yeah Very and good. then i'll add the dollar after that and then i say we <laughs> joined in together <laughs> sounds good sounds right good. on oz well have a great day dude and thanks for joining us today you too. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Later, Oz. Bud. Peace. Later, dude. Omar. Yeah. We, you we got you missed it, dude. You. We got, we got something, something for to you. invest in. Oh, ready? Oh, what do you say? And this is say? for. I had to go. Diarrhea Sorry. coin. What? There's diarrhea coin. Di yes, because I asked right when you had to leave. Yeah. 
I asked him what's not to stop somebody from na- coming up with their own ridiculous cryptocurrency right. and naming it like Nipple Coin or something. And he's like, there is. There's one called Cum Rocket, and like the guys who collect the co- <laughs> the people who collect the coins are called Cummies or something. Oh, and then whoa. there's Diarrhea Coin, dude. And we're like, we, oh, we have to invest in Diarrhea Coin. Are you kidding me? I, we got I it. Dude. Let's put it. In. Let's get a pot. Let's get a pot, and we'll we'll start one Janky Town Coinbase account. And okay. then we'll just invest in diarrhea coin. Right. I knew you would be in, Omar. I'm down for a hundred bucks. <laughs> I'm down. I'm for down for five. Bucks. Five bucks yeah. or five hundred? Yeah, five. No bucks. Five bucks. Come on, we're no. not going to make money yeah. that way. Hey, listen. You know, unemployed. You can't only put. You can't only <laughs> pour five dollars in a diarrhea coin. Yeah, come on. Listen, man. mugs. You, you mugs. You put in another one hundred and ninety-five bucks, and we got three hundred. Boom. <laughs> Listen, We're golden. That was very informative, man. But I gotta be honest with you. Like sometimes, my, like my brain hurts. Yeah, it my was it was hurts. crazy. That dude is too smart. He's too smart. Yeah, my. And by the way, I gotta he be a, made a year's salary in two months. That is crazy. It's crazy. That's so impressive. But how much? How much did he invest to do that? That's crazy. Like like Here's I said, Oz is a cool dude. Hold on. Yeah. Oz is a cool dude who like when he talks to me, I, I, he gets me fired up with things. Yeah. And then I still don't understand what the fuck he's saying. Yeah. But it just uh, yeah, sounds yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. And he would explain the dark web to me, Silk Road, the the mushrooms he got, how a guy dropped it off and was like, hey, try it before you, we, you pay us. Oh, oh And like, like so many stories. It's crazy. Wow. But uh, yeah, man. Yeah. Good. So uh, Bitcoin, that's. Janky Town explains cryptocurrency. Yeah. I hope you, fell, you followed along. We didn't explain shit. <laughs> we did. <Yeah. laughs>